the winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is... Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Yeah. Who are you, miss? Who are you? I'm mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina mom. Lee. Oh. Hi, Tina. How hi, are you? What are you going to do here for us today? I'm going to sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. <laughs> Tina, tell us a little bit about Cody. Cody is blind and autistic. Oh. Wow. We found out that he loved music really early on. He listened and his eyes just went huge. And he started singing. And that's when I just, I was in tears because that's when I realized, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. So. Yeah. Come on, Cody. Come on. in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs and I made some bad rhymes I've acted on my life in stages 10,000 people watching yeah and we're alone now and I'm singing this song Also, a new mom this year. And congratulations. It's the toughest job I've ever had and the most rewarding job I've ever had. You just want to give your kids the moon, the stars, and the rainbows. And tonight, I'm gonna give you something special. I'm every mountain, and swim every just to be with you Do you are the reason The winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is
are you? Rear de Mayas. And what does that mean? It's a word in Arabic that means the proud walk of a lioness. Oh, wow. Where in the Middle East are you from? Lebanon. From Lebanon. Lebanon. Us being here, standing on the biggest stage of the world, is our only chance to prove to the world what Arab women can do, the art we can create, the fights we fight. We're gonna try to hypnotize you. Uh, Ooh. Huh? Ooh. Okay, so we are ready to get hypnotized. Yes. So for that, I'm gonna ask the judges to get a bit closer to each other to get the best experience. Come on over, Howie. All right. Snuggle up. Arguably the best dance act we're likely to have ever seen. And we are honored to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's time for us to vote, but I want to say something first. I would be so honored to empower you even more in this journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this! The winner of the one million dollars and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is...
Hello. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. It talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Uh -huh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> OK. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> Wait, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so Puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. <gasps> you know what? And if you have America has voted the winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is... Beautiful young lady, you know that? Oh, 
thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and are the people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> the stage is yours. Good luck. show about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now.
I think you can do better. What? What? I'm gonna be honest. I think you what? can do better. Howie! You can. No, they're amazing. Hey! 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 You can do better. You can do better. Howie! You can do so much better. <laughs> with, with, oh my God. with the right, with the right. AGT Fantasy League Champion and the winner of the Fantasy League Trophy and $250,000 is... Who is it? I can't even call it right now.
so much for bringing such a beautiful positive energy yes. to AGT champions that was absolutely outstanding we needed you tonight trust me every time you come out you do something more creative more interesting I think this act is gonna tour I think it's gonna live forever and I think this has probably been one of the best acts we've seen in Champions this year. I believe that. I love you and I love what you do and I love what it means to you. When you didn't win AGT, the disappointment you had, we felt like a knife going into our heart. But disappointment only lasts a moment. This is a moment. This Time stands still and I'm feeling so much and it's all right here and I just gotta trust that we are the one. The time has come, so tell me, baby, what's it gonna take? We can be the champions. You have a chance of winning this now, you know that, because you deserve this. The winner of the title. America's Got Talent, the champions, best in the world, is... My name is Brandon Leak. Hi, Brandon Leak. And where are you from, Brandon? I am from a small little city called Stockton, California. Stockton, California. And what do you do for a living? 
Uh, for a living, I, I work at a high school and a college, but I also run poetry workshops with youth in my city. Oh, well, that's wow. wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I don't really understand poetry. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a great intro for you. I so t tonight's poem, is it something you wrote? Oh, I only perform stuff that I write. Never be able to perform anything else. Well, and what is it? What is this one about? So tonight's poem is actually uh, an ode to my sister. Are you close to your sister? Very much. She's here with me now. Oh, she's back, backstage? Kind of. <laughs> well, we already love you. Make us love your poem. Beautiful. I got you for that. I have two facts for you. One, I'm six feet tall. <laughs> and two, love is the most vulnerable thing one will ever have. And you must learn to hold on to it loosely so when it leaves, it won't exit so painfully. On July 14th, 1996, an angel was brought to this earth. Her name, Danielle Marie Gibson, but I only know her as Puff. Her smile is as wide as the universe. Her eyes, they glimmer like the stars. She is my world and my sister. I, just four years old at the time, learned what it meant to love selflessly for on days in which my strength was but knee high, seeing her smiling face would make my soul fly. But on March 23rd, 1997, I've been ground bound because she left Earth to go back home amongst the stars, right next to God. But I was left here to manufacture wings out of tears and broken dreams. Yet I'm still haunted by these nightmares because I have a really creative mind. And sometimes it designs these alternate realities where she is still here, still alive. And all the things I wish we could have done are played again and again and again. And I'm tired of playing God because I got to come to terms with the fact that my sister ain't never coming back. And that's the cost of love, caring for someone so much that you can't imagine living life without them, staring at a grave like, how about I trade my six feet for yours, but that's not real. And I know I said earlier to hold on to love loosely, so when it leaves, it won't exit so painfully, but if this pain and these memories are all that I got left of you, I won't never regret these scars from just trying to hold on to you. Wow. It is a wow. Flowers across the sea. Memories are what they used Gosh. to be. Gosh. You're tearing up. My brother passed away the same year that your sister passed away. Man. Yeah. I can feel your pain. I know what this is. I know what it is to have somebody taken from you without you knowing. But it was very beautiful for me. Thank you. What an amazing tribute. There's something very, very special about you. Thank you. Really. This is a very difficult thing for me to judge. I shouldn't be judging it. I just want to compliment you on what you just did because it was uh, extraordinary. Thank you for so much. Really? So much. Well, it's amazing to me that on season 15, it's the first time that we're hearing somebody of spoken word. There was something more raw in the way it's like singing and talking and just being a human a cappella. No music, no nothing, just a raw heart beating in front of us. We feel your pain, we feel your love, and you moved me to do this. The winner of the one million dollars and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is
what they're doing right now, though. He can't even crawl up the landing. It's so slippery. Because of the humidity. No, no, no. The humidity is, is, I, I, I could it, feel it. It changes everything. So if they do any tricks where the bikes are sideways, if they land, it just washes right out from under them. I mean, so they got they got the, the towels up there, but it, it gets wet so quick, you know? Yeah. He's like, dude, it's slippery. No, no, no. We're going to go because it's going to get wet. Let it go. It's like, yeah, I know. Well, it's time to go. It's time to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Yes! I mean, seriously. Woo. I mean, everything about it. You know, the danger level just got higher and higher and higher. I actually think that was pretty much perfection. Wow. Thank you so much. What's going on? Travis. It started off fast. It was like absolutely pinned. The entertainment factor was awesome. And then a kiss of death indie backflip huge pulling it the last second. Woo! It was absolutely awesome. I did not think I'd be impressed by a motorcycle stunt show, but you guys did it. Wow, just wow. Thank you so much for that feedback. Anyway. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're not gonna need to vote. There will be no need to vote right now. Do you know what? Uh, Alfredo, every time I see you, it is the definition of what this show is. I'm giving you the golden buzzer, my man! And the title of AGT Extreme Champion is...
Boy. Do those hand binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> so I have glasses. Yeah. Hey, can you see now? Is that, is, with no, the... it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no, is you might want to wear them when you're judging. That's the deal out. <laughs> see, I wear. See, I don't know if I look so good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. Now, Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I think what every girl wants, someone... I am taken. <laughs> someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome. Someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> Someone that is happy with himself. That's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married. Oh, he's married. All right. Terry, Terry, Terry. Uh, I have a, um, someone here who, um, on the internet, David Vaughn. He wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. <laughs> one too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, no! oh, that's brutal. Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> all right. Okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! Now, Howie, last night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, Right. Uh, how do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing... I admit it. I do admit it. I like the live shows best, because yes. we, I, we have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> like, nothing. I don't even know who's on the show tonight. And, you know, we could have taped this show, you know, like, two hours ago, and it, being live makes a huge, huge difference. Yes! And, by the way, I was thinking that... No, the million, the million dollars is cool, but I think winning the show is much, much more important now. I believe you. know, because I've seen what it can do to people's careers. If you do well on this show, in my opinion, you do well in the real world. That's it. I agree. 100%. My pecs agree with you, Simon. Well, I'm happy. My pecs agree, too. Yes, thank you. My pecs, too. Now, guys, are you ready to do this? Yeah. Tonight, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think of this? <laughs> I like that. We do look 
like that. Ketchup I and mustard. I told you we did, and you didn't pay attention. <laughs> I'm fine. Yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah, right. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your oh, dress. man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. Do you think your puppet looks like you? <laughs> there, there it is right there. <laughs> I mean, I, th I really think I have better eyes. She has a better mouth, but, and, and, and her voice wasn't that great. Oh, okay. Now, look, Simon and Sophia, you both exed each other's puppets last night. What's going on? What? Did you hear her sing? <laughs> Did you hear yourself talk? Yes. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. All right, shots That's fired. Enough. Okay. Uh, now, Howie, were you upset there was no puppet Howie? No, I yes. never. Uh, no, yes. I never want to be a puppet. I love the idea of being able to speak without a hand up my backside. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, wait. If you had a puppet, what would its talent be? What would it? What? What, 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 is, what would your puppet do? It's ventriloquism. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. If you could be a part of any of the acts from the finals, which one would you perform with? Uh, well, I already did. I was part of a Hurricane and Adrian's uh, act, and I would do it again if they want me. Oh, it was great. Now, Simon, Elizabeth from Texas wants to know what was your favorite moment from this season? Elizabeth. Elizabeth from Texas. Hello, Elizabeth, wherever you are. In Texas. Um, two moments, actually. One, when I got my voice back, because I had the worst person to talk for me. And secondly, I'm going to be honest with you, T, it was last night. The whole two hours, for me, was a moment. Because everyone was brilliant. I agree. I agree. I, it was one of my favorite finals. It was just so incredible to watch each act. I mean, every one of you, amazing. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, judges. Password is magic. Did you okay. just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That, that is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Jen, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 because him. they heard you <laughs> cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The clue. We are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. OK, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one.